Well, we're nearing the end of the first heat wave of the year, and we are now starting to see the impact it's having on the Valley's farming industry. Thank you for joining us. I'm Michael Patterson. Rochelle is off this evening. Eyewitness News reporter Leslie Molina joins us in studio now with more about why the heat may be taking money out of farm workers' pockets. Leslie. Well, Michael, so far this week we have talked about how this extreme heat is affecting the young, the old, and recently businesses. But today we're learning just how this heat wave is impacting farm workers. The Central Valley is finishing out its first heat wave of the year. And despite it only being three days long, many in the agriculture industry are already feeling the heat, especially farm workers. A representative with the organization Líderes Campesinas, Yuridia López, told us the heat is causing work shortages, particularly for those that pick grapes or carrots. Past three days, they have worked five-hour work days. They are not able to complete a 40-hour work week. Less hours means less money, causing many to struggle to pay their bills. And many of these workers already faced work shortages earlier this year due to the rain. Right now, they have just been told that work will stop again because the fruit is not ripening at the expected time. Heat illness is another concern. According to the Federation of American Scientists, over 5 million people working in high-risk industries are more likely to die on the job due to the heat. Some of these industries are construction, warehousing, oil and gas, but they say farm workers are the most vulnerable. They are 20 times more likely to die from the heat compared to the industries listed. Labor laws in California protect all of these workers. According to Lopez, farm workers are starting the day an hour early, from the usual 6 a.m. to 5 a.m., and end their day at 11 when the temperature reaches 105 degrees. Es bueno. It's good because it keeps them safe, but the problem is that they don't have unemployment for the days they can't work due to the extreme heat. Lopez told me it's important for these workers to stay hydrated and to wear light clothing in order to avoid heat stroke. In studio, Lessa Molina, Eyewitness News. Hi, I'm Rochelle Murcia with Eyewitness News Bakersfield Now on YouTube. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel where we have tons of great content to choose from. While you're here, go ahead and click on the subscribe button right there. That way you can stay up to date on all the things related within Kern County. Thanks for watching.